African Union Communications Early Warning and Intelligence, commonly known as AUC-3I, is an intelligence and security organization responsible for providing signals intelligence and information assurance to AU citizens, AU leadership, and AU armed forces. I'm Colonel A.C. Ogentoy, an infantry officer. I am responsible for leading infantry soldiers at all levels of command and combined armed forces during missions on the ground. This is today's briefing. On the progress of the Special Military Operation on the 22nd of August, 2024. The armed forces continue to repel the attempted invasion of the Ukrainian armed forces into the territory of the Russian Federation. Units of the North Group of Forces in the Volchensk and Lipsov directions inflicted defeat on formations of the 57th Motorized Infantry, 92nd Assault Brigades of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, and the 36th Marine Brigade in the areas of the settlements of Gluboko, Lipsy, and Volchensk in the Kharkiv region. The enemy lost up to 80 servicemen, a multiple launch rocket system combat vehicle, three 122mm D-30 howitzers, and an Anklevin electronic warfare station. Units of the West Group of Forces improved their tactical position, defeated the manpower and equipment of the 44th, 67th, 115th Mechanized, 3rd Assault Brigades of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, the 103rd, 110th Territorial Defense Brigades and the 1st National Guard Brigade in the areas of the settlements of Tabievka in the Kharkiv region, Stelmakovka, Rozovka, Nadia. Nevskoy of the Luhansk People's Republic, Torskoy of the Donetsk People's Republic, as well as Serebryanskoy Forestry. They repelled four counterattacks by assault units of the 12th Special Forces Brigade Azov and the 23rd Separate Rifle Battalion of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. The enemy's losses amounted to 440 servicemen, two combat armored vehicles, 11 cars, two Grad multiple launch rocket system combat vehicles a U.S.-made 155mm howitzer M198, two U.K.-made 155mm howitzers FH-70, a 122mm self-propelled artillery unit Gvozdika, and a 122mm howitzer D-30. Units of the Southern Group of Troops occupied more advantageous lines and positions, inflicted losses on the manpower and equipment of the 24th, 28th, 54th, 69th Mechanized, 56th, 59th Motorized Infantry, 143rd, 144th Infantry, 10th Mountain Assault Brigades of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, 116th and 117th Territorial Defense Brigades in the areas of the settlements of Verknekomenskoy, Periesnoy, Grigorovka, Chesavyar, Krasnogorovka, Maximilianovka, and Konstantinovka of the Donetsk. People's Republic. The Ukrainian armed forces lost up to 765 servicemen for pickup trucks, a Grad multiple launch rocket system combat vehicle, U.S. made 155 mm howitzers M198 and M777, a U.K. made 155 mm howitzer FH70, a 152 mm howitzer to be, a 122 mm self-propelled artillery unit Gvozdika two 122mm howitzers D-30 and three 105mm guns M119 made in the U.S. Seven field ammunition depots were destroyed. As a result of successful actions by units of the Center Group of Forces, the settlement of Mezovoy in the Donetsk People's Republic was liberated. The 32nd, 47th, 100th Mechanized, 68th Infantry, 25th Airborne, 95th Airborne Assault Brigades of the Armed Forces of Ukraine and the 109th Territorial Defense Brigade were defeated in the areas of the settlements of Dzerzinsk, Pantalamanovka, Rozovka, Grodovka, Sergeyevka, and Vazvizenka of the Donetsk People's Republic. Five counterattacks by units were repelled. 53rd, 151st Mechanized Brigades of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, 15th Brigade of the National Guard, and the Assault Brigade Liot of the National Police of Ukraine. The enemy's losses amounted to 640 servicemen, two Cossack combat armored vehicles, nine cars, a U.S.-made 155mm howitzer M777, two 152mm howitzers to be, two 152mm guns D-20 
for 122 mm howitzers D30 and a 105 mm gun M119 made in the U.S. Units of the East Group of Forces defeated concentrations of manpower and equipment of the 72nd Mechanized, 58th Motorized Infantry Brigades of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, the 105th and 127th Territorial Defense Brigades in the areas of the settlements of Vadyanoi, Razdalnoi, Makarovka, and Rivnopol of the Donetsk People's Republic. The Ukrainian Armed Forces lost up to 130 servicemen, 8 vehicles, and a 152mm D-20 gun. Units of the Dnepr Group of Forces inflicted losses on formations of the 141st Infantry, 128th Mountain Assault Brigades of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, and the 35th Marine Brigade in the areas of the settlements of Stepnoi, Kamenskoy in the Zaporizhia region, Tokarevka and Kamishani in the Kherson region. The Ukrainian armed forces lost up to 70 servicemen, 5 vehicles, a 152mm D-20 gun and a 122mm D-30 howitzer. The Anklevin Electronic Warfare Station and a field ammunition depot were destroyed. Operational Tactical Aviation, Unmanned Aerial Vehicles Missile forces and artillery of the Russian armed forces groups struck concentrations of enemy manpower and military equipment in 138 areas. Air defense systems shot down a MiG-29 aircraft of the Ukrainian Air Force, three French-made hammer-guided aerial bombs, 11 U.S.-made Mars rockets, and 91 unmanned aerial vehicles, including 53 outside the Special Military Operations Zone. In total, since the beginning of the special military operation, the following have been destroyed, 640 aircraft, 282 helicopters, 30,346 unmanned aerial vehicles, 575 anti-aircraft missile systems, 17,352 tanks and other armored combat vehicles, 1,420 multiple launch rocket systems, 13,530 field artillery pieces and mortars, 25,014 units of special military vehicles. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you found it useful and informative. If you have any questions, please leave them below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.